Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm taking on another challenge video. So I thought with a combination of the new year and I saw a lot of people are doing like the 10 year flashbacks of art, like what they drew in 2006 compared to what they drew in like 2016. I thought it'd be really cool to do a draw it again challenge. So I know a lot of people are doing like the 10 year difference from 2006 to 2016 and it's a little bit harder for me to find some good stuff from 2006 because most of my old art is still on DeviantArt and uh, a lot of my other old art might be archived on multiple hard drives so I thought just to make this a little bit easier and use work that I was proud of back in the day we would just check out my DeviantArt page. So let's get ready to walk down memory lane and look at some of my old artwork from who knows when. And I'm gonna preface now, when I was younger, I did trace, which is a completely fine way to start learning and doing art and such. But I'm just letting you know, if you see stuff from like Naruto and Fruits Basket and other things early on in like pencil and pen, probably was traced. So I'm gonna preface that. I'm gonna pick a piece to redraw that I know I didn't trace for a fact. So let's go check out my page. All right, well, here we are on my old DeviantArt. It's the, still the same DeviantArt, but it's in a folder called Old Work. So you're more than welcome to check it out if you want. Oh God. So I have a lot of old fandom art in here. Um, back in the day, I did trace a lot of like screen captures from different like anime that I loved. And one of them was Fruits Basket. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I totally traced these. When is this from? 2007. See, I don't even have art that goes all the way back to 2006 on here. Holy crap. So there's a lot of trace stuff on here. I know I drew this one, the Daydara one. I think I drew on my own. And I think the Sasuke I did also. I don't even know. Oh God. Here's my beauty of my DeviantArt ID. I was really into ninjas, guys. I mean, I still love ninjas, but yep. I was the Dragon Lover Ninja, because my old screen name used to be Dragon Lover 687. It's fantastic. It's just great. Yeah, it looks like we're jumping a little ahead. I think this is like maybe a year later when I start doing more observational art where I look at a picture and then try to copy it. Like I know for this Kakashi one, I looked at an already drawn piece, but I didn't trace it. You know what I mean? Like I was looking at it and then trying to duplicate it on my page. So honestly, I actually really encourage that technique for any learning artist. Try drawing other existing pieces and you kind of start to learn how they constructed that piece and what worked and what techniques. And it also just helps your skills grow in general. Oh yep, another ninja me. Like I said, really into ninjas and dragons. And I was the dragon lover ninja. Yep. All right, so now we're getting closer to like 2012, 2013. I think this folder is a little mixed up on like when these were submitted because some of these are pretty old and some of them are kind of new. All right, guys, after combing through this file and kind of like going down this fun little memory lane of like sketches and a crap ton of dragons, I decided on a dragon piece. This one I was super proud of back in 2009. I absolutely adored it. Um, I thought it was so cool that I had like a black dragon and a white dragon fighting and I thought I was so smart for making it yin and yang. So I think I'm gonna take this one and redraw it because I don't think I've done a lot of dragon stuff on the channel yet and I really love dragons. Like if it's not obvious from all the other old art, I really like dragons. So I'm gonna take this one and redraw it with my current style. And I know it's not like a 10 year jump, like the 2006 to 2016 thing that's happening, but I think a seven year jump is a pretty big thing. This was right before I graduated high school. I graduated in 2010. So this piece was like from when I started really breaking into art, like trying really hard to get better at digital stuff and just drawing more and more and more and trying to do more original stuff. And it's a little sentimental to me. So you know what? I think, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pull up my canvas and I'm going to put this in as a reference just to start and I'm gonna update their look. I'm gonna try to keep it similar to what the dragons look like, like their overall design, but I think I'm gonna update it a little bit. All right, let's get started.
Hey guys, so I'm sorry, but I sat down and I did like 20 more minutes of work and I forgot to press start recording. So luckily it's just like the base colors for uh, the white dragon, but I just wanted to take a moment and pause and let you know why we're randomly cutting to a little more color on the dragon. Just wanna let you guys know, my mistake, but luckily it's just the base colors, not any like super shading or cool details or anything. So, yep, just wanna let you know. Thanks for understanding. All right, so I'm gonna get back to coloring. I'm just gonna finish up the base colors for the white dragon, and then I'm gonna go through, do the shading and the highlights and all the final touches for the piece. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna call this one done. Um, this was really fun. I thought about redrawing this for a really long time and I'm really glad that I got to do it for this little challenge. And actually, let me put the two of them next to each other. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So I lined them up the best I can so we can do like a little compare and contrast and see the old one and the new one. And uh, overall, I really am proud of myself on how much I've improved since 2009. Um, Overall, I think the anatomy is a lot stronger on the newer dragons. And then um, the lighting was a bit confusing in the old one. And I think this one makes a lot more sense. I'm still kind of experimenting though with how to paint. Like I've known that's one of the things that I've always, I guess, struggled with was figuring out my style of painting and how I like to paint. And I like the direction I'm starting to go after a lot of practice and I can see a pretty big jump between obviously the old one and the new one and that's kind of cool to see just how much you improve from practicing and trying and trying it over and over and over again so i still feel though that i'm always learning and growing especially in terms of painting digitally i feel that's one of my biggest things that i want to get better at is just i guess better textural painting and not just doing kind of a cell shading look so i tried to push myself to try something similar to that on this one and give it more of I guess texture instead of harsh lines. So overall, I thought this was a pretty fun activity. It was really fun to go back and look at some old work and kind of see how much you can progress in such a short amount of time. I mean, it is pretty long because 2009 I was in high school and now it's 2016 and I'm graduated from college full-time working adult. And it's kind of cool just to see after years and years of work and classes and just chugging away at this, how quickly you can grow. So I encourage anyone out there, just keep working, keep practicing. And I think that's one of the most important things an artist can keep in mind. Just because you're on a certain level now, doesn't mean you won't grow. Like I still feel I'm growing. I don't feel my art is like perfect. And I mean, honestly, no art is really perfect, but if you keep chugging away and chipping away and you just keep practicing, you'll get there. Every drawing you make, is adding to your skill set. So just keep drawing, keep practicing, and I encourage everyone to just keep chugging away. You personally might be thinking that you're not at a skill level that you want to be at, and I know one of the things a lot of artists suffer from is impatience, and I do it all the time. Like, 
If you're not at a skill level you want to be at yet, you're really wanting to hurry and get there so you can start producing that art that you want to make. But honestly, it's just, you gotta start, you know? Just start drawing. Like, if you want to make a comic, just start drawing the comic or drawing other comics. Like, the first book of my comic, I don't feel like my skills were very good then, looking back now for sure, and I just did it. And by making all those consecutive drawings on every page, that actually helped build my skills faster, and then I learned what works for comics and what doesn't. So it's the same thing with any type of art or anything you want to pursue. If you do it, you'll find out what works and you'll start growing from it. So I encourage any artist watching this video, just please keep drawing, please keep chugging away, and you'll get there. It just takes a lot of practice and dedication. And I mean, you could see the improvement that just happened from 2009 to 2016. I mean, it is a good chunk of my life right now since I'm only 24. It is a lot of the years I've been around, but I have so many more years left. 30s, 40s, 50s, I just will keep growing and keep drawing. And every single year you'll get better if you just keep going. Hey guys, I know this is a different Caitlin. This is future past Caitlin, if that makes sense. Um, but I forgot to mention in my previous recording that this file is going to be the Photoshop file of the month. So if you go over to my Patreon, you can download this file and you can see all the effects I put on every layer and uh, just go through and check out the file for yourself to see what I did. And you can also pick up some other really cool goodies over at my Patreon. You can get um, original sketch postcards and the Photoshop files and a lot of like art goodies. So if you want to check it out, there will be a link in the description. So I think on that note, I'm going to wish you guys a happy new year and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button or the like button. I have new videos every Friday and I guess I will see you guys next Friday for another video. Bye guys.